Care Point was set up and started on the 31st of January of this year 2012 and the remit is adult health and social care. From a place that was closed, that you know there was just mess all over the floor, you know, it's been transformed into this. We are literally a hundred yards from the market or less than that. It's fantastic, you know, we're here and we are supporting people within Havering who have needs. And it's very sad from a recession point of view that maybe other premises had to close. But at least now there is somewhere where or a point of focus where people can come if they've got issues and needs around adult health and social care. What we're doing here is is trying to support unemployed people, people that want to upskill, giving them support with CVs, giving them support with some IT, business awareness training, all sorts of different training so that we can support them to get back out there into the workplace. Being here in an accessible place ensures that everybody can get to you and just come in and, and do and see us as and, as and when. Rolfer Shopping Hall seen quite a few casualties throughout the session. We were approached by St Francis Hospice to see if we had any vacant units that they could possibly use for this new initiative. We were more than happy to support it. The eBay unit was an old bridal shop. The items that they put off eBay go onto different websites and go through their website and it just it's just something different and it's unique and it's a bit quirky. We've currently got a large double unit that's vacant at the moment. On a Friday usually it turns into a craft market uh, whereby local crafters can come and show their skills and talents and they get a lot of uh, repeat business. So someone will come in and order something personalised and then it's bringing in people back to the shopping centre to come and collect the item that they've ordered from the previous week. So that works really quite well. Of course we just had the Christmas light switch on, yep. 10,000 people turned up to that and it was a fantastic postman pat and twist and poles and all of that, it was really good stuff wasn't it? Well it's wonderful atmosphere you know, for young and old isn't it, I mean, yeah. the market is really the heart of Romford. The Romford Contemporary Arts Programme is a council initiative, um, its aim is to bring contemporary art practices to Romford. Um, in this time of recession we've been able to access disused shops that we ordinarily wouldn't be able to access and we can hold uh, exhibitions there and fine art uh, events right in the uh, heart of, of Romford in a space that would usually be for uh, commercial uses. The shops that we've uh, occupied has uh, helped to raise the status of those unused shops so uh, there have been cases that when we've finished using the shops as an exhibition space they then have quite quickly been taken up as uh, businesses. The Romford Arts Festival is about bringing together the arts community in the area. It is a chance to experiment with something that you might not normally do with your practice as an artist and to bring what you do to everybody. Studio Weave are a group of young architects. Our focus for Romford is a uh, public realm. We're trying to plug a gap by using the shop as a, an arts venue. We've held uh, loads of workshops. Next week we've got a chair making workshop um, uh, in which I'll be teaching some young offenders uh, how to make a chair, DIY chair. We've had an exhibition of old photographs of the area which was great because a lot of people came in who haven't been to the area for a while, haven't been on this street for a while, came in, shared some memories. In the long term, Studio Weave would much prefer this area to be uh, a functioning high street.